everyone welcome back to my youtube channel now in today's video i am going to show you how can you make your video editing a lot quicker and faster in wondershare filmora and for this purpose i would be using filmora 10 filmora x you can even use filmora 9 or even the latest one filmora 11 and just on a note of filmora 11 i would be coming up with a lot of videos in the near future now in regards to that so without wasting any further ado let's dive into it now the first step is to use saved projects as in, for example, let's say if I open any project that I've already saved, let's say I go with this one. Now I run another YouTube channel where I edit videos related to this topic. So what I do is whenever I want to edit any video, I do not go ahead and start a new project. I always open up my old one. And afterwards, since I've already got my intro, you know, a bit of music, outro, bit of music and outro scene of mine. So all things are already there the subscribe button uh, on the side. So all these things are already there. So rather than creating a new project, I'll straight away go ahead with the same one and I'll just remove the things that I do not need. For example, the previous video. So I'll go ahead and delete that previous uh, voice clip of mine. So I'll remove that. So you will still see that all the other things are still there. And now I can just start editing my current video that I've just uh, done the shooting for. And it will save me a lot of time of you know placing these things at the correct places so that's tip number one you can so just for the first time you will have to do the project from scratch everything but once it's done you can just make the necessary changes and it will save you a lot of time during the video editing second tip is uh, if you just go on google and search for uh, filmora keyboard shortcuts you would be able to see that the first link over here would be keyboard shortcut list from windows and also for the mac for here and that's from the official website so you just go onto that website and here you will be able to see a lot of shortcuts for the keyboards i do use few of them which i use on a day-to-day -day basis so for example if you always have to rotate your video 90 degrees clockwise this is the shortcut for that control alt and right arrow so rather than just going to the video right clicking and then clicking on this you can just press these shortcut keys and it will just save you you let's say you know a couple of seconds but then if you combine a lot of these ones and use the shortcuts for them you will see that how quicker you would be able to edit your videos from this point forward and the third and the final most step is you can create a proxy of a file now if if your videos are let's say 1080p or 1440p something like that so in that scenario you don't have to do that but if you feel that you're going to edit a 4k video and it's going to be a pretty lengthy video so your filmora has started to lag out what you can do is you can right click your video and then click on create proxy file and right now as you can see there's a there's a big white dot over here which simply means that they have created some temporary files in the computer now so even if it's a 4k file you will see that your filmora will not lag and it will go very smoothly so if you want to edit your video it will make your experience a lot quicker and also in return will save you a lot of crucial seconds so that's it for this video i hope you liked it uh, if you did uh, do hit the like button also um, if you're new to this channel do consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up you would be the first one to get notified about them and if you have any sort of content recommendations, you can always post them down in the comment section below. I appreciate all of your time uh, of you guys being here. Stay safe wherever you are and I'll see you guys in the next one.